Good evening, beauties and gentlemen. Welcome to Pokemon Explained. Hey there, it's Daniel here, and in this episode, I'll continue to talk about how the stats of a Pokemon can be increased because of something called EVs. If you for some reason have found this video without knowing what BST is and what IVs are, I highly recommend you to check out the two videos I made on those topics before continue watching this video, and here's why. BST, EVs and IVs all directly influence the stats a Pokemon can have. As a Pokemon's base stats are the starting point, it's therefore recommended to learn what that is first, then what IVs are. After you've gotten control of those two, you can then come back here and really learn what EVs are. Because I promise you, this will be a huge help when understanding it all. People tend to get confused when they first hear about the two things called EVs and IVs. And thus, I figured we would be better off to have those topics apart from each other and featured in their own videos. Because they both have a similar name and effect, they're quite easy to mix up. As you now know what BST and IVs are, we can jump right into an example. Hone Edge has 45 base HP, which gives it 213 HP at level 100 if it has 13 IVs in HP. What EVs do are to add another number on top. But before we jump to the math part, as we did with IVs quite early, there are some new things you will need to learn in order to understand EVs. A Pokémon can have a total amount of 510 EVs, which can be distributed in all of its 6 stats. The maximum amount of EVs a Pokémon can have in a specific stat is 252. How you want to look at EVs are that they are additional stat points you can put on top of whatever stat you may need them for. Let's go back to 510. As you can't have more than 252 EVs in a stat, that will leave us with 252 plus 252 plus 6. The numbers you're looking at now are 252 EVs in two stats, and 6 EVs in a final third one. How these numbers influence a Pokémon stats are, that for every 4th EV a Pokémon have in a stat, the Pokémon will get one additional stat point at level 100. At times, you may encounter this EV spread on a Pokémon. 252 plus 252 plus 4 plus 2. What this means is that in two of the Pokémon stats, the Pokémon has the maximal amount of EVs possible, which is 252. Then you have 4 IVs in a final third one. Because you need 4 EVs to make up for a whole stat point at level 100, the remaining 2 will never be used, leaving us with 508. If we go back to our Hone Edge, we can see that if we put 252 EVs in HP, our Hone Edge will have 276 HP at level 100 if it has 13 IVs and 252 EVs in HP. After all this, you are probably left with a question, well, how do you get EVs? There are multiple ways of getting EVs, and there are ways to remove them. The three ways you can do to get EVs are either by defeating an opposing Pokémon, using an item, or super training. If we start with how to get EVs and how it works when defeating an opposing Pokémon, it's easier to show by using a visual example. Here you have Pichu, Pikachu and Raichu, and their respective base stats. The only stat we really want to look at here is their speed, because this is their absolute best stat. We then want to have a look at the stage these Pokémon are at in their evolutionary line, and we see the following. 1, 2, and 3. If you take out an opposing Raichu, you will get 3 EVs in speed. If you had taken out Pichu, on the other hand, you would have gotten 1 EV in speed, instead of 3. It's important to note though that not all EV yields are this easy, but the general rule is, you get one EV for each stage of evolution the Pokémon is at, and the type of EV you get will be based on the opposing Pokémon's best base stat. An evolution line with a more advanced EV yield can be the Chimchar line. To find out what EVs you will get from a certain Pokémon, you can go to bulbapedia.bulbagarden.net and search up a Pokémon. You then want to scroll down and have a look at the section called EV Yield. There are several items that can give a Pokémon EVs in a stat. These items can be found in two groups, Feathers and Vitamins. Vitamins are sold for 9,800 Poké Dollars and will add 10 EVs to a stat. It's important to remember that the Vitamins cannot raise a stat above 100 EVs or raise the total above 510. The picture on screen shows you which Vitamin that increase what stat. There are 7 feathers in total, but only 6 of them have an effect on a Pokémon's stats. They will only give 1 EV in a stat, and can be consumed up until the Pokémon either have a total of 252 in a stat, or 510 spread across in total. 
The picture on screen right now shows you which feather will increase what stat. Last but not least we have Super Training, which is a possible method to use in Pokemon X and Y and Auras to EV train your Pokemon. I will not go over how to EV train using this method in this video, but I thought I'd like to mention it as it is an option. It's also worth mentioning that there is an option in the Super Training feature where you can remove all EVs a Pokemon has by using a reset back. The other way to decrease EVs is by using berries. These berries will remove 10 EVs in a stat for each berry that is consumed. A neat trick here for those of you playing in X and Y and Auras is that you can by combining Super Training and a Pomac Berry get an odd number in HP. First off, you max out the EVs in HP, then use a Pomac Berry to remove 10 EVs. At last you play one minute game in Super Training to increase the stat again with 4 EVs. What this does is to go from 252 EVs to 246. It's important to note though that this is really 244 plus 2 and that you have by using this method used your 2 spare EVs. There will be tutorials on how to EV train etc here on the channel, though these will come at a later point. If you're watching this in the future, you may want to check the Pokemon Explained playlist and see if it has already been made. That was it for this episode, I hope you learned something new and would like to check out the other episodes on screen right now. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe and join our community? I'll see you again sometime and until then, be your very best.